OK, let's do a population genetics problem. So we've got a population of randomly mating fruit flies. 93 of them are short-winged. 473 are long-winged. Got to start thinking what the total population is. We've got the two types of traits. Uh, here's our questions. We want to know the frequency of recessive alleles. So the P is the dominant allele. The Q is the frequency of recessive alleles. And that's going to equal 1.0, that equation. We want to know the frequency of heterozygous genotype. Well, that's in this equation. P squared plus 2PQ. Here's your heterozygous, 2PQ plus Q squared equals 1.0. Uh, expected to be homozygous dominant. What's our frequency or how many actually? So we're going to use that percentage and figure out how many should be homozygous dominant. P squared. Let's start this process off though. We've read through the question, thought about our equation. Okay, so now let's continue looking at this problem. We're going to actually solve it. We need to identify our alleles. We need to find Q if we're going to solve this problem with Q squared. Look carefully. This is going to help us get Q squared. As long as we can get our total, we've got our recessives. We, we've got Q squared. Once we get Q squared, we can get Q. Once we've got Q, we can find P. We find P with Q. Because remember, P plus Q is equal to 1. So we're going to get there. Uh, we're going to plug these in to their equations once we get the numbers. Let's write out those equations. It's good practice to write out your equations. Start with the Hardy-Weinberg. P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared is equal to 1. Remind yourself what each means. This is the dominant trait, and so our alleles over here. Let's come over to our alleles. Um, we want short. That's going to be recessive. Little w, little w. Long. Well, that's going to be big W. So they're either big W, big W, homozygous dominant, or the heterozygous, big W, little w. Remind yourself what each part of this equation means. This is the number of individuals that are big W, big W. This is the number of individuals that are heterozygous. And once again, Q squared, good old Q squared, are the recessives. They can be easily found. Put all those together. That's going to equal, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> that's going to equal 1. We'll just make that invisible. Yeah, pretend that's not there, everybody. Uh, again, the other equation we use just for the alleles, P plus Q equals 1. All right. So let's start over here. Let's find Q with Q squared. Well, we've got 93 of those short wing over our total. Hmm, what's our total population? That's going to be 93 plus 473. Use your calculators. What is that total population? That's 566. So 93 over 566. If we do that calculation, let me see here. 93 divided by 566, that is 0 0.1643. That's what Q squared is. OK, so we'll just kind of round that to 0 0.16. So therefore, if we want to get Q, Q is going to equal the square root of 0 0.16. Put that into your calculators, and you get Q is equal to 0 
Well, now let's find P. If we know that Q is 0 0.4, what is P? Okay, well, we're just going to go 1.0 minus 0 0.4. Yeah, I think you know it. P is going to be 0 0.6. So we've got our P is equal to 0 0.6. We've got our Q is equal to 0 0.4. It's time to plug these in to our equation. Let's put them into our Hardy-Weinberg equation. We'll do p squared here. Square that plus 2pq, 0.6 times 0.4 and plus Q squared, 0 0.4, we'll square that. Get all those numbers. Let's, let's get those. Just give me a sec here, guys. All right, now when we calculate these numbers here, let's just get our pin going. There we go. Uh, 0 0.6 squared is 0.36. 2 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.4, well that is 0 0.48. And 0 0.4 squared is 0 0.16. Notice those do add up to 1.0. Make sure you've got your calculators and you're going along with us here using pause. Uh, a reminder, this is the big W, big W. There's our frequency. This is our frequency of heterozygous. And this is our frequency of hom homozygous uh, recessive. Homozygous dominant, homozygous recessive, heterozygous. We've got our frequencies. So our long wing. Uh, OK, first of all, we want to know the, the frequency of our recessive allele. Let's come over here. Let's start writing our answer. We've got enough information here. Let's get our answer. Frequency of recessive allele. Now well, that's just Q. So Q, come on computer, Q is, Q is 0 0.4. What else the question want to know? Frequency of heterozygous genotype. Frequency of big W, little w is going to be 0 0.48. Uh, lastly, how many are long wing? Hmm. Let's think about this first. So, total population. That's 566. These two together are the long wings. So we better add those two together. 0 0.36 plus 0 0.48. Well, that's 0 0.84 or 84 percent. Good high percentage. Uh, if we plug uh, plug that in, calculator, you're going to get 475. 475 long wing. And there you go. There's how to answer one of these questions. We've got uh, put all of our information out. Our alleles. Once we got our alleles, we find Q with Q squared. Find P with Q. Make sure you got your equations identified. Make sure you're starting to internalize what each parts of these equations means.
Okay, let's see what we're going to learn next.